Hi everyone, uh, we're heading towards uh, Van and Palace, which is based in uh, the town centre of Sipo, the main city, which is the Seat. The bus comes at a five star hotel. This one here. Before going to Grand Palace, let me show you village life. It's awesome. Look how beautiful it is. So this is the dining area where I am staying, which is nicely done up. It's quite common to have a, a base in, in a dining area in Bangladesh. You've got lovely shelves to stack away some of the stuff there um, for daily use. Mm, and you can see the view of the living room from the dining room. And this is the kitchen. Um, the kitchen is nicely done up with LED lights um, and, and some cupboards. Uh, tiles are quite nice with standard fridge and everything else. So lovely place. So this is the living room area. <clears throat> it's got the traditional sofa as well as standard sofa. Um, I sit down, have coffee every now and then. I enjoy reading my book, as you can see. Uh, generally, uh, I take few books with me when I'm on when I'm on holiday. Guys, I don't know what to do. I don't know So, just walking down to my local bazaar, uh, known as the market. Very traditional market. So, you have all the, all the shops around in terms of local groceries, uh, pharmacy, and everyone's uh, doing their daily shopping. The thing about Bangladesh, I really like the greenery. Um, the road are a bit chaos, I'll be honest with you. It's a two-lane highway, so cars are taking over each uh, side. Um, it is quite difficult driving compared to our international driving so I have to give a huge respect to the driver <laughs> so we are approaching some of the bazaar which is on the right hand side and some of them are on the left hand side uh, daily life use in terms of shopping and all that so this is the highway N2 they call it, um, this leads to the other side of, uh, on the uh, reverse side is all the way to Dhaka, this we're heading towards the Silet. So my location is actually based in Bindal, um, so it's not far off from my location to Silet. So on the way we visited a relative uh, and guess what? We've visited them next to Katushali shooting area. Here we are. Finally we're there. Um, I can see it now. Grand Palace Hotel. Just gonna park up. First view, really nice. Again quite greenery on there. We've got international flags there as well. So let me just show you. So you actually you go through, this is the main entrance, the main doors are there. So I'm just going to head towards the entrance a little bit. But before I do so, let me show you around. So you can see like there's security guards on that side. And the main road is actually on this side here. We've gone in, uh, I'm just about to check in to the check-in counter. Um, they also serve welcome drinks on arrival 
Uh, this is a sitting area on the right hand side. Again, a few uh, um, flower pots and things like that. Not really sure about the red carpet, <laughs> but there we are. So uh, I checked in, just sitting down, waiting for my room to be allocated. So finally, we got the keys. We're now going to head towards the um, lift. So this is our welcome uh, fruit basket. Room looks really quite decent. Let me show you the bathroom. It's nicely done up. You've got all the vanities. So this is the actual pool. Uh, I'll be honest with you, this pool is this is children's section. This is mainly for the adults. So it's, it's nice. People are happy, honestly. So enjoying yourself. So this is the lounge area where you just you know, have a cigarette or coffee, tea, wherever you like. So based around what you like. I'm now going to show you the view of this ninth floor. I generally book any hotels. It needs to have a gym. I enjoy my gym workout. So let me show you around on the gym. So they have sauna here. Yeah, which is nice. Uh, they have uh, steam. This is the steam room. And I think they also have a uh, shower somewhere down on this side, I think. Hold on, let me just see. Uh, here we are. That's the uh, rain shower, which is quite good as well. So just going to the actual uh, swimming pool, swimming pool area. So it's actually located right on the ninth floor. So I'll show you. Guys, let me show you the breakfast. So the breakfast is around um, with so many selections. I could go on and on with the selections. But this is the fruit area section. Yeah, the uh, fresh fruits. You got the watermelon, pineapple, orange, apple. Um, and you got the salad area on this side here. Standard salads. Uh, what's this? Then you have the hot food. Uh, this is my favorite one. That's pasta. No, this is my favorite actually. Sausage uh, grill. Whoa. Uh, roasted uh, potatoes and sausage. You got pancakes on that side here. You have boiled egg. So many options. Let me roll over to the bread area. They have huge selection of breads, uh, standard breads. Um, you got um, the uh, some of these um, croissants. Um, there's so many different type of bread, brown breads, white breads, whatever you like. You like early morning rice so you have rice option um, those who enjoy you got uh, paratas on that side the guys just topping up all the food I'm just going to grab myself a plate and start filling up my plate and shortly sit down and enjoy my breakfast Time to eat, so I've 
got my plate ready with all different type of uh, food. Uh, standard breakfast. I didn't go over the top, but let's see. Let me try. Mmm, that's really good. I want to take another bite, and let's see how that how that oh smells good as well. Mmm, 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 -hmm. wow. Mm -hmm. mm. Re really good so after a lovely breakfast i thought let me go for a walk outside we have the outside area really hustle and bustle so much going on So I am making my way to the kebab garden. Um, you can see some of these guys, uh, they do the parakas on that side here. So I've got myself a pom pom. Um, this is kebab garden. Um, we just walked in, and we got seated. Um, we, we placed some of the orders. So currently in a uh, kebab garden. Kebab garden, they do all different type of kebabs, um, chicken kebab, lamb, beef, they do pizzas and of course they do the Asian tandoori chicken and biryani as well. So they, what they do, they cook it in front of you and these are the chefs, they're working behind the scene. Uh, he's the boss and apparently he's the owner as well. He's, he's doing the pizza now. Donut kebab arrived. Um, first time in Bangladesh I'm trying donut kebab. Um, I've ordered the pizza which I mentioned. Most of the food arrived. There's still a few missing. Wow, that looks good. Mmm. Wow. I'll enjoy that. So what we've done, we've ordered um, the mixed grill and then donut kebab. This one here. After a big feast, I thought I'll try uh, a pan, which is just next to the kebab garden. So first of all, let me tell you uh, about the hotel. Hotel service has been amazing um, from right from the beginning. My next journey is Shada Fattor, which is white stone in English. Uh, please join me on my next upcoming videos. Make sure you subscribe, like the video and put your bell notification on. Until next time, dine with us.